let me take you on a tour of shopping at Disneyland Paris and show you how non-magical it really is. So here I am in Disney Village in Disneyland Paris and this is the biggest Disney store we've actually got here in Disneyland Paris. So let's take you inside and see um, what it's actually like. So as we walk in we are greeted by some Star Wars merchandise so let's go over here. Now, just because it's a large store doesn't mean there's quite a lot of products on sale because there's a theme to this um, video. There's a lot of items repeated. Um, but let's start talk about the Star Wars stuff. Um, just quickly walk by. We've got some cool stuff from The Mandalorian. Um, I think that's actually The Mandalorian. Um, and here is The Child. Now, didn't they update the products and actually say Grogu? Um, so Disneyland Paris are a bit behind here. Um, but none of these seem to work. Um, they're supposed to be interactive by pressing the head or waving your hand over the head, but not seeming to work. Um, but priced at 100 euros. I don't think so. Now over here, something really caught my eye. Um, you can get some treats, some candy floss, um, in an up-to-date Star Wars The Last Jedi tub. Now, didn't The Last Jedi come out in 2017? It's 2022. And priced at 7 euros? I'll pass. Now I'll just show you some of the decorations here in this Disney store. Now in the middle of this Disney store, we've got a giant saucer with Mickey Mouse in the middle. But if you look to the left here, you've got um, Mickey Mouse again with Minnie Mouse. So that'll be confusing some, some of the kids. Um, then we've got Daisy there in looks like a flying um, ship. Um, look, look how up to date this is, Tailspin. Now it wasn't that from the 1990s, um, but hey it's still they've got some decorations uh now let's just walk over here oh look a little star no idea where that's from there's angel um what stitch's girlfriend uh, some more spaceships and we've got oh we've got donald duck huey dewey and louie in front of sleeping beauty's castle and over here we've got peter pan and captain hook in a fight scene um but no idea why there's a giant spaceship. Um, oh look, there's launch pack, launch pack Matt Duck um, in a rocket ship. Why is he not in an aircraft? Now, this guy. He's adorable, baby Groot. Um, but no idea why he's here in Disneyland Paris. Because it's based around, let me just show you the label. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, which is in Disneyland, California. So... No idea why this is here, um, priced at 30 euros. Now, this is the main display stand, and when I said there's a lot of repeat products, I'm not kidding. For example, let's talk about this stand. Um, let's first talk about Baby Groot, because he takes up an entire segment of this stand. It, is there any need for all these Groots? Um, but he's everywhere in the park. Um, Leroy... Um, here he takes up one other segment of this display stand now i was actually going to get myself a leroy but he's a lot smaller than the one i first originally got he's small plush uh, for about 30 euros and he doesn't feel too good so i'll think i'll pass this time and then we've got um, baby stitches here in some pajama wear looking very cute and t-shirts there so you've got Leroy Stitches taking up one segment of this display stand. And more stitches. Uh, yep, yeah. more stitches. And then, oh, of course, we've got Ratatouille because Ratatouille is very popular here in France. We've got Remy. And you don't see much Fox plush, do you? And then we've got Pluto and another version of Pluto. And then Mickey Mouse here at the end of this display stand. And looking around, look how many Mickeys there are. Uh, then we merge into Minis. Um, Minnie Mouses. And then we've got Pegasus. Huge amount of Pegasus there. And then Simbas. And then Baloo. And King Louis. 
Now, when it comes to displays, you'd think that Disney would have excellent ones, but not here in Disneyland Paris. For example, take a look at this one. At the bottom here, we've got um, a cardboard cutout of what looks like sweets in a jar. Wow. And then here we've got a medium-sized plush of Scar, surrounded by plastic figurines, some plastic cups, and a tub of popcorn. Amazing. Now let's look at the other side. Um, not really much has improved. Uh, we've still got this cardboard cutout of sweets in a jar. Then we've got two plushes of Mickey Mouse um, surrounded by treats. Wow. Now there's a lot of these um, figurine sets in Disneyland Paris. Uh, here's the Eternals. I really hope that Angelina Jolie has not seen her representation. Uh, she wouldn't be happy. Um, I really don't get these figurine sets because they're just figurines that just don't move uh, for 30 euros. And over here we've got some Disneyland Paris treats and this um, bottle of popcorn is an amazing 7 euros. That's cheap. Okay, go back to the Star Wars section and go through here. This takes us to a dedicated Pixar section of this Disney store. So let's have a little, a little look around here. So go down these steps. And first of all, we've got some car merchandise. Uh, we've got these two pullback vehicles, one of Lightning and one, one of Mater, for an expensive 17 euros. Okay, let's move on. Um, oh, look at that display. Um, Right, this back wall, what we got. Oh, I don't know, I've just dropped it anyway. Um, right, it's a pencil case. Pencil case with some lovely artwork on it, but just on one side and some stationery there. Um, but look at the state of that wall. Disney, you're letting yourselves down there. Um, yes, this back wall is just full of pencil cases and stationery. Amazing. Um, there's the stationery set, and here's the pencil case again. No prices, no prices, but just scuff marks. So, if there's no prices, I guess they're for free. Oh, look, someone's took one of those sets. Must be popular. Okay, let's walk around here. See more figurine sets, and um, this time of Toy Story. Um, you see a lot of those Pixar toy boxes, figurines everywhere. And here is the build your own Mr. Potato Head. Um, now, the trick here is basically you get a box and you fill the box up with as many items as you can um, for a set amount. Now, the trick is here, put the items actually into Mr. Potato Head, into that. Here's one I built earlier. Um, a Darth Vader Buzz Lightyear. Um, but I've just been watching people just put items in the box. They've been putting Mr. Potato Head body in and then covering, surrounding that with bits and pieces. So they're not getting as much if they were actually putting the items actually into his body and then they're putting the body into the box. It makes sense. Here we have some more figurine sets. This one of Disney Pixar's Turning Red. Um, they actually do look cool, but again, they don't move. So I don't see the point. Um, again, 30 euros. But this one display stand has just this product on it, on every single side. It's just these figurine sets from Turning Red. Surely they must have something else to put on here. Now, one of the coolest products I've seen here at Disneyland Paris is this weighted Mickey Mouse. So I think it's basically like a doorstop. Um, it's quite heavy, and as you can see, it just sits on the floor. And there uh, you could put him, like, stop in your door. And basically, it is 35 euros, a bit expensive. Um, I do love the colours of him. He is quite weighted. I think it's 1.5 pounds or kilos that, he's, that he weighs. But his head just doesn't sit well as well for me. So I just had to pass, as you can see, as when I put him on this stand here. His head just leans back. He's got a neck problem, haven't you? Yep. 
There you go. Uh, yeah, 35 euros and it is 1.5 pounds. Now, here's something that baffled me. I'm in France. This is Disneyland Paris. So, why has Mickey Mouse got the stars and stripes? Why is the American flag on a Disneyland Paris t shirt and shorts? Strange. Now, actually moving into the theme park itself and um, showing how up to date Disneyland Paris is, if you're feeling hungry, um, why not grab yourself a a value meal here of the really up-to-date uh, theme of Black Widow. Now this is the main reason why I've done this video. Now when I said that items get repeated, I don't mean that they actually get repeated in each store. I'm actually saying they get repeated in, in the same store. For example, this Star Wars toy box Millennium Falcon is everywhere in Disneyland Paris. Um, here we go, one over here, so that's now four times we've seen this one in the same location. That's, now that's five, there you go, six. Let's walk around this couple here and, and lo and behold, we've got a whole display stand for these Millennium Falcons. And down here, lo and behold again, more Millennium Falcons with more toy box figurines and more Yodas. Uh, so what next to the Yoda? It is Millennium Falcons again, shock horror. Now, this has got to be the most bizarre looking phone case I've ever seen. So a flimsy bit of plastic, choose your own color for 26 euros. But on the back of it, you can put your own little mascot attached to it. Um, and they've only got lots of bear on sale here. Um, he's for seven euros, or you can buy both for 30. I just don't see the point. Um, talking about things that repeat themselves, here's some more toy box figurines. This time though, we've got Toy Story. So we've got Jesse, Bo Peep and Woody. Um, these guys are everywhere. And here they are again. Here's Jesse and Bo Peep. Talking about things that are everywhere. Look what I've just found. More Groots. Why? Have they just got a surplus of these items? And why is he here? Because this ride isn't even here in the theme park. It's pointless. I think this is the very first time I'm actually walking outside empty-handed.